This story happened a few years ago, on 31st October in Brisbane, and even though it sounds like an Alfred Hitchcock tale, it's true. John Bradford, a Sydney University student, was on the side of the road hitchhiking on a very dark Halloween night, and in the midst of a storm, the night was rolling on and no car went by. The storm was so strong he could hardly see a few feet ahead of him. Suddenly he saw a car slowly coming towards him and stopped. John, desperate for shelter, and without thinking about it, got in the car and closed the door, just to realize there was nobody behind the wheel and the engine wasn't on. The car started moving slowly. John looked at the road and saw a curve approaching. Scared, he started to pray, begging for his life. Then, just before he hit the curve, a hand appeared through the window and turned the wheel. John, paralyzed with terror, watched how the hand appeared every time they came to a curve. John saw the lights of a pub down the road, so, gathering strength, jumped out of the car and ran to it. Wet and out of breath, he rushed inside and asked for two shots of tequila. He then started telling everybody about the horrible experience he went through. A silence enveloped everybody when they realized he was crying and wasn't drunk. About 15 minutes later, two guys walked into the same pub. They were also wet and out of breath. Looking around and seeing John Bradford sobbing at the bar, one said to the other, Look, Bruce, there's the idiot who got in the car while we were pushing it. Because of a guest, we have a confirmed ghost story. My husband and I both experienced the same feeling and vision while outside working the orchid and blueberries. The funny part is, I didn't tell him about it when it happened. Mine happened first, and I didn't tell him. Then his occurred some months later, and he came in and told me. My husband came in one day, about a month or so after I had my experience, and told me of his experience. Same man, same watchful feeling, we both saw this figure in our side vision, a man watching us as we worked. It also was a feeling of his voice telling us where to prune, how to do the job we were doing. A guiding spirit, we call him. We found out later that it was old man Simon. How did we find out? We described this man to a guest, a relative of the Brewsters, who owned the property before us, that brought pictures of Simon. She showed us the picture only after we described him. It was one of the original owners of this 260-year-old home. One dark, windy night, just outside Doncaster in Yorkshire, England, Neil, the town drunk, was mandering his way home after the pub had closed. Somehow, Neil got turned around and ended up walking through the graveyard in St. Mary's Church, instead of taking the Tadcaster Road home. The wind howled louder and Neil thought he could hear a voice calling his name. Suddenly the ground opened up in front of him and he fell down, down into an open grave. He could still hear the voice clearer and louder now calling to him. Neil knew it was Satan coming for him, just like the vicar had said on account of him being the town drunk. The hole was very deep, and inside it was pitch black. His eyes adjusted to the darkness, and after a few moments, and he made out a form sitting in the darkness with him. It called his name, and he scrambled away in fear. 
trying to climb out of that terrible grave. <gasps> then the figure spoke to him. You can't get out, it moaned. Neil gave a shout of pure terror and leapt straight up in the air, caught the edges of the hole in his hands, and scrambling out for his very life, he ran for home as fast as he could go. Inside the open grave, his neighbor Tony sighed in resignation. He too had fallen into the hole a few minutes before his friend, and had thought that together they might help each other climb out. Now he was going to have to wait until morning and get the gravedigger to bring him a ladder. If you enjoyed this and would like to hear more stories like these, please go to www.youtube.com slash the voice of nightmares. Don't forget to give my video a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more content. Also, you can follow me now on social media sites such as Twitter, Mr. Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Amino, Creepypasta Wiki and Instagram. Last but not least, all stories, art and music are owned by their respective authors. Links are available in the description below.